gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Squeak, the box is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. This is 
very safe. This cheese is full of balls! Hey! <laughs> this is fun! Wee! You guys have got to try this! Wait for us! get us out either. Maybe it will. Rob, you stand there. we can tell which one is Squeak. Squeak! I say that was cheese. And I'd say that's mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, 
He was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Goodbye, Cheese Planet! Hi, everybody! Come on in! Emma has a problem. But I can't find my moon boots. Oh, how could I have lost them? <gasps> hmm, don't ask me. I've even lost track of how many things I've lost. <gasps> Let's think, Emma. Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, but then I had them on the mud planet. Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we going to help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm. I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I, I can't remember. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? That looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. Lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! Huh? PK, look! It's my coloring book I lost huh? years ago! It's yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, 
Robin Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. <sighs> Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You could pretend it's your tummy trunk. luck finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <gasps> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> oh, Orbit! TK! stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? <sighs> I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one and left a trail. Yes, we can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly. TK, I am a finding genius and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit, I think. It's no use yelling, Rob. They can't hear us through all these boxes. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started. But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh, listen. Huh? It sounds like it's coming from... TK, is that you? <sighs> Rob, what are you doing in there? Where's Emma? In here. Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us. <gasps> Don't worry. We'll get you out. <laughs> Do you think the best finder ever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers. Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! Your tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back, Orbit! I'm going into overdrive! Ta-da! 
Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? attention to anything, except his game. How can we get him to play with us? I think I know how. Watch this. Hey, Orbit! How would you like to go to a place where you can have tons of fun without video games? <laughs> sure, sounds fun. Ooh, golden banana! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. Today. We need to find a planet full of games, but no video games allowed. Sounds like a fun mission to me. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The museum planet? We can't play inside a museum. We might break something. <laughs> Book planet. Hmm, no. It's rude to play and make noise while people are reading. Yes, the game planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the game planet. Wow! Cool. Look 
look at all the games. this planet. <laughs> <laughs> Jump! Dodge! Banana flip! Yes! Remember? Oh, yeah, right. Don't worry, Orbit. The game planet has lots of other games you can play. Orbit, you've got to try this. But I'm almost at the fourth level. Hey, can I borrow your charger, TK? Huh? Sure, but... Uh, thanks. I can use the rocket's batteries to recharge my game super fast. I'll be banana bonking again in no time. Yeah, and not playing with us. Hmm. <laughs> you know, Orbit, while your game is recharging, you could play with us. I'd like to, but I want to play my game the second it's charged. Oh, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Sure are having fun. But is it more fun than bonking bananas? I don't know. Okay, now that looks like fun. I'm sure my video game can wait. Hey guys, save a ride for me! <laughs> your friends is a lot more fun than playing with... <gasps> My video game! It's all charged up! <laughs> Orbit, you're running too far! The finish line is this way! Come back! It works! Yahoo! It's time to bonk some bananas! And a snack would go great! With all this banana bonking. <laughs> hey, Rocket! Open the door! Ah! Orbit, what's wrong? Well, when I used Rocket's batteries to charge my game, I think I used too much. Look! Rocket, open up! Dear, Rocket doesn't have enough energy to open the hatch. And if the hatch won't open, we can't get back inside. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure we'll figure this out. All we have to do is put our heads together. And come up with a powerful idea. But we need to think fast. The sun is going down. It'll be dark soon. That's it. The sun. We can use solar power to recharge the ship. Solar power is energy from the sun. We can use it to recharge the ship after collecting it with this. Huh? Oh, no! My solar 
solar panel isn't big enough to charge Rocket's batteries all the way. Aww, and we were so close. All we needed was just a smidge more energy. Hmm. That's all we need to open the hatch? Just a smidge more? Orbit, this is not the time to be thinking about your video game. Now, to reverse the charge. nice of you to help charge Rocket back up, Orbit. But now your video game doesn't work. Oh, uh, that's okay. As long as I have you guys to play with, I don't need to bonk any more bananas today. We'll play any game you like, Orbit. And you know what else? I think this is another big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the game planet to help show Orbit how to have fun without playing video games. Orbit wanted to wait for his game to charge up, but when he saw how much fun we were having, he was all charged up to play too. Orbit gave up his video game to help recharge Rocket and learn that having fun with friends, not video games, is the best fun of all. My, what a powerful mission that was. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Game Planet. inside the rocket, too. Oh, huh? 18, 19, 20 pirouettes! Oh, Emma, please stop spinning. I, I think I'm going to lose my lug nuts. I would if I could, but I can't. Oh. oh, TK, can you see what the problem is? The gravity boosters are acting up again. We don't have any gravity in the rocket. That's the force that pulls everything to the ground. Ah, there we go. All fixed. Uh-oh. Ah! The floor! Yes! <laughs> exactly where my dreads belong. But we're astronauts, huh? Orbit. We should be good at floating in space. Maybe we just need to practice. Hey, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can practice our astronaut skills. Okay then, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Baseball planet? Hmm, that'll help with my curvo, but not our space skills. The bedtime planet? Ha, I don't think we need any practice sleeping. <laughs> yeah! The Space Camp Planet! Yes, the Space Camp Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
Next stop, the Space Camp Planet. Feeling is heavy now. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Too low. Mm. Oh. Yay! Ah. Oh. Huh? <gasps> Whew. That's much better. Does anyone know what this is? It's a multi-axis trainer. A multi-water? A multi-axis trainer. Astronauts, like us, spin inside it to get used to the feeling. <laughs> Why would we want to get used to feeling dizzy? Imagine if our rocket was whirling around in space. Even if we felt dizzy, we'd need to be able to work the controls. Give it a spin, Orbit. I don't know. Come on, Orbit. We want to be better astronauts, don't we? Sure, I guess. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Whoa! <laughs> now try to turn it off while you're spinning. I think so. <gasps> <clears throat> Something's wrong with my voice box. It's a good thing you've got your tools, TK. Astronauts like us are ready for anything. Uh, almost anything. Ah! Ah! Watch out for the colors! <laughs> oh, blaster. <laughs> Rob, the Robo Arm. Huh? Ah! 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 Hey, it's easier to move around if you just pretend you're swimming. Huh? Ah! Yeah, that is better. We need 
more gravity in here, guys. Remember, it's the force that pulls everything to the ground, even us. How are we gonna reach your controls? Wait, I know, my rocket boots! to improve our astronaut skills. Orbit gave the multi-axis machine a whirl to get used to spinning. But it wasn't long before things got out of control. You see, gravity pulls everything to the ground. When there was too much, it was too hard to move. But when there was too little, we floated in the air, and so did everything else. But what we learned most was that astronauts have to be ready for anything. And we were. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Space Camp Planet. talking funny because today is intergalactic act like a pirate day and I'm trying to act like a pirate <gasps> oh no what happens your eye nothing orbit my eye is just fine it's a pirate eye patch there's more to being a pirate than just looking like one and talking like one isn't there hmm maybe there's a place we can go where we can learn how to act like pirates for real Oh, yeah! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can learn how to act like real pirates. Or... Well, shiver me timbers. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The clown planet. <laughs> that looks like fun, but we want to act like pirates, not clowns. Oh. <gasps> Pet Planet has a lot of pets to play with, but not a lot of pirates. Oh! Ah. Look! The Buccaneer Planet! <gasps> and Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Yeah! That's a great place for our mission! Yeah. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
Buccaneer Planet. <laughs> Avast! Who goes there? Hi, Nosebump. You <laughs> oh, Ahoy, me hearties. What brings you back to this part of the galaxy? Today is Intergalactic Act Like a Pirate Day, and we want to learn how to act like real pirates. And if anyone can teach us how to act like a pirate, Nosebump can. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be honored to teach you how to act like me, the proper pirate way. Hooray! Awesome. This is going to be fun. Thanks, Nosebump. Now, the first step to acting like a real pirate is sounding like a real pirate. Repeat after me. Arr, shiver me timbers. Arr, shiver me timbers. Well, scupper me supper. That was all righty, mateys. You sound just like pirates, sure and true. We do? Great. Great. All right. But there be plenty more to know about acting like a real pirate. So follow me, me hearty. lesson. The next step to learning how to act like a real pirate is to learn a few real pirate steps. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then I show ho ho and off we go over the briny sea. <laughs> Look at Nosebump go! <laughs> what kind of a dance is that? I know. It's called a jig. That's how real pirates dance. Sure and true, Miss Emma. Come on, everyone. Give it a whirl. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then it's yo ho ho and off we go over the briny sea. Stop the music. That's not the right way to dance a jig. Emma is a fine dancer. But you can't be adding spins or twirls to a pirate jig. It's the pirate way or no way. And the captain knows best. Okay, Nosebump. You're the expert. We want to act like real pirates do, and we'll do whatever you say. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now, it's on to your next pirate lesson. There be the perfect spot to bury me treasure. Because every pirate knows that X marks the spot. Hmm? Oh boy, oh boy. I wonder what kind of treasure is inside the chest. Gold? Silver? Precious jewels? <laughs> nope. Oranges. I love oranges. And we pirates always bury our most prized possessions. It's the pirate way. But that doesn't make much sense. You should keep oranges in a refrigerator so they don't go bad. Ah, that's true. I've lost many an orange this way and more bananas than I can count. But it's the pirate way. And it's the pirate way or no way. Huh? 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 Arr, shiver me timbers. I'm stuck! <gasps> Arr, belay that tugging and pulling! The only way to get a pirate out of a treasure hole is to dig him out! Mm -hmm. That's the pirate way! Aye, aye, aye Captain! So, where's your shovel? I buried it. The favorite shovel it was. But it's around here someplace. Here, it lies where the X marks the spot. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> we'll find that shovel the pirate way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we found it, Captain. We found your butter. Huh? So that's where those 
Rose got too. They're for making me perfect pirate pancakes. Ice skates and comic books? And a big bunch of balloons? Not just balloons, buccaneer balloons. In all me favorite colors they are. Yeah. This isn't working. There are too many X's. And it'll be dark soon. <gasps> Captain, I know you want us to dig you out the pirate way, but maybe there's another way to do that. But the pirate way is the only way. It's not the only way, Nosebump. Look, we can use the things we found to get you out. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> that slippery butter should do the trick. Now hold on, Captain, because here we yo-ho-ho -ho go! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Thanks, me hearties. And I've learned me lesson. There's more than just the pirate way to get a deed done. <laughs> yeah. Like how eating oranges is better than burying them. Agreed. Well done. You're all officially pirates. Sure and true. Arr! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nosebump. I'd say this be another big mission. Accomplished. Arr! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to learn how to act like real pirates. So we went to the Buccaneer planet to learn from Nosebump the pirate. Arr! He was really stuck in his old pirate ways and thought that the pirate way was the only way to do something right. But when Nosebump got stuck, he learned that it's important to try different ways to solve problems instead of sticking to the old way. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Four, three, 